I just find that disgusting. I'll just be honest, it's just disgusting. I never thought that we'd be in this situation where we would have this blatant effort to just erase the truth. And that there would be colleagues of mine that say, we don't need to bother figure out what happened. We don't need to document this. As if it was just any other normal day. We all know that that was not a normal day in America. I don't just get on my hands and knees on any day and clean up the Capitol. This was a day of, of darkness in our democracy, and we deserve to know the truth. I say, we cannot have reconciliation unless we have the truth. We cannot have healing unless we have truth. Truth is a precursor to healing. And this commission is important because we are trying to find and navigate the best possible way to create an authoritative body that the American people might trust. And even that is something that my colleagues are opposing. I just find that disgusting. I'll just be honest, it's just disgusting. Let truth be truth. Let truth be truth. We need to know what happened. You cannot turn the page of American history unless you write that page of American history. So my colleagues that say, let's just move on, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible for us to do so. And I remember seeing cigarette butts put out on statues and trash and debris everywhere and I just felt so sad, so sad for our country that this room that is sacred ground for me was in that kind of condition. So I just started cleaning it and yeah, I didn't really think about much of it but I do have to say, I, you know, I reflected upon the fact that the very first time that I've ever been in the rotunda in the United States Capitol was with my mom. I remember I was a young boy and my mom took me into that rotunda and she was so proud. You know, so proud that she as a citizen, as an immigrant, was able to just walk freely around that building and take me in there. I just felt so in awe in that room and I still feel that way. You know, that's what my mom would have done. She loves and respects this country so much and taught me to love and this respect this country so much. And the Capitol was disrespected on that day. And that's a calm word for what happened. But it was disrespected on that day. And I tried to do my best to fix it. And, and part of that was about casting my vote to certify the Electoral College. But it was also about getting the capital back to the condition that it deserves to be in, to be a caretaker.